Well, that, that was a pretty uh, ridiculous one. I was talking about something I didn't even press record. This is my second take. The first video was a little longer. And I want to make this a pretty short one, so I'm going to try and move, move, move this along. I'm talking about uh, pretty obscure German metal. Um, Germany is pretty much uh, kind of a mecca of metal because they've got a pretty big scene. Even, um, I guess you could say not as much of a scene in the 70s, but once the 80s rolled in, I think uh, the scene uh, grew really large. And now, and now it's just crazy. So some bands are, are, have split up, some bands are still going, and some uh, bands are emerging. But I'm going to be talking about the ones that kind of didn't get a whole lot of um, talk. You know, a lot, no... You know, they, ones that didn't get, uh, get as much of the intention as they kind of should have. So I'm going to be talking about those. So I'm going to definitely go along and actually start showing some. Uh, this is Violent Force, Malevolent Assault of Tomorrow. This was originally released on the Roadrunner Records label in like 1987. This is a reissue by Metal Mind uh, Productions that was released in 2007. Now, this is thrash metal. Definitely like, you know, like Sodom Creator. It's pretty much like that. And they were featured on a comp that uh, Roadrunner Records released uh, in the 80s. And I think it was a song off their demo. But this one doesn't get a whole lot of talk. I'm kind of uh, shocked because I see some people talk about them, but they don't. I don't see a whole uh, lot of uh, attention to this band, and I think it's because of they didn't release very much this, and then some unreleased uh, demo after that. That honestly, not uh, not many people are gonna go out searching for, I guess. Even though I do have in my computer, thanks to the internet and the whole MP3, uh, you know, that's what we live in the MP3 era. So this one. Um, I've had for uh, you know very many years, but this is you know pretty good thrash metal uh, uh, record. I wouldn't uh, go out and spend you know 72 bucks for, for the LP because of that's pretty much how it go, goes for, and I don't want to. And I know that this uh, some of these early Metal Mind production releases kind of sound like crap compared to their other ones, but you know their later releases. But this one uh, has to do for now. Very good thrash metal if you like Sodom and Creator and all that shit. So, I would say look for this. Oh, wait. I think this is out of print as well. <laughs> Alright. This band I actually talked about in my Metal Enterprises Records uh, video. This is Mad Butcher. This is Metal Lightning Attack. This was originally this was originally released on the Earthshaker Records uh, label in 1985. This is a reissue by No Remorse Records out of Greece, released in 2000. I guess on here it says 2010, but I didn't uh, get to I didn't get to buy this or get until the year the next year 2011. But, though I think that that's pretty much the actual release year, who knows, wherever, uh, wherever you're living in. But, this is a pretty obscure German metal band. You know, this is, the sound is a little thrashy, but it's more in the vein of, like, Living Death, uh, Motorhead, Tank, you know, kind of new wave of British heavy metal-like. That's pretty much what this is, and, honestly, I dig it. I dig it. Uh, not a, it, it, it's, it's a good one, it's definitely, you know, like that, but I think the one Mad Butcher album I really go after is actually this one. Metal Meat. This is the one that was released on the Metal Enterprises Records label. This is indeed not a fake follow-up, because the song Drivin' Drivin' dates back to 83, when they were still, you know, a live band. And I know that uh, that uh, 
an original version of Drive and Driver was recorded in 1983 and it's only in live form. How you can get that demo, you can now find it on the Heavy Metal Rarities uh, forum. And that's pretty much where I got it from me. And it's definitely a pretty interesting the lyrics a little altered, but you can tell that uh, that it that this album is not a fake follow up. It makes it adds to its credibility. And however, this what I have in here, what in my hand is actually a bootleg. This is on the Strike Force Records uh, label, I guess, and. I think it was a, uh, somewhere in Greece as well. It's like released in 2008. But this one is a little more, almost a little mature. Some people say that this kind of sucks, but honestly, I think this is their best one because of the musician and the musicianship is a little raw. But it's also seemed like they're kind of breaking into almost like, you know, it's a little thrashier actually. It's almost closer to like Living Death, kind of like Metal Revolution, but also mixed with like Running Wild and such shit as that. But I dig this one definitely a little more and definitely that arc where Tint ends to get considered as one of the worst. If I can... <laughs> yeah. Cheesy. But it's still good. Another one. Probably the most obscure one that I'm gonna bring up next to the other one that I'm gonna show. This is Headstone with the uh, album Burning Ambition. This is actually was unreleased for many years up until 2013 when Cathargo right there released it on CD for the first time not LP but honestly this is actually more um, in terms of style this is acted this could have been recorded in the 70s this could have been Cause it's got that, you know, that sort of feel and everything. Almost, I haven't heard a lot of Lu Lucifer's friend, but for some reason that that, that ends up coming up, uh, coming to mind. Or like early Scorpions, very good stuff actually. And also, and if anyone wants to know what they did release, uh, an actual LP, they did. Different vocalists though, because the vocalist who sings on this one would end up singing for another obscure metal band by the name of Vito. And, but, the uh, vocalist on the uh, Excalibur record, which is probably the uh, one that me, uh, many people recognize more, more, but that one I don't have, because that tends to go for like a hundred bucks or something. I ain't going to pay that. But, but that one, it, it, it's not as good as this. This one is actually the best one by Headstone. This is the one you probably should be checking out. And another one I want to show about the release. This is actually released on Cathargo Records' um, Heavy Metal uh, Classics uh, series. And it's number 02. Given the indication that this is the second uh, in the Heavy Metal uh, Classics series. Next to another one that's actually cataloged in here. Another obscure metal band I've never heard, but I'd like to check it out. And that's Bloody Ki Climax with Backs to the Wall back to the wall and never heard it but it's part of there I think I could get that one off of Amazon but here's actually this is another cool one uh, that if you get these series get a certificate and it's uh, you know hand numbered and such that I means which is very very cool another so let me get this in here for a bit and I'm going to show the last one. I'm going to try and speed this up very, very quickly. And that's Deep Throat, The Devil and Miss Jones. The first vinyl I'm showing. And this is probably the most obscure record in my collection. This, uh, this is definitely, you know, new wave of British heavy metal sounding than the Mad Butcher. It's like, you know, this could have been a British band. I think that, that that's. I think they don't get, uh, get as uh, um, uh, enough tension as much. But this, I'll sh also show the label as well. This is on a very. Uh, I don't know. 
They don't seem to, uh, to have a lot of metal in their release as far as I know, but... Orum or... So it's a... can't really uh, pronounce the name right, but it's... It's a very, uh, very cool, cool record. Very cool. Um, songs such as Midnight Magic, which rocks. You know, this whole record rocks, actually. But I've also seen this uh, record being um, tagged as porn metal because the lyrics are very uh, kind of explicit. But the music just rocks. Ro uh, rocks from beginning to end. It's not like that. Uh, shoot. It's not like, uh, you know, what porn metal uh, uh, gets tagged as now, you know, with all the porno grind crap that's out, which I don't mind to listen to it, but it's n uh, not technically some I listen to every day. But that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. In the fir uh, first take of this video, I had to show this. Look at the fucking band photo there. Look at that. They look like a metal band. <laughs> and also that. My as well, uh, you know, it's I spy who's this, whatever <laughs> question. All right, that's pretty much it. So um, I hope I uh, turn some people on to some other, uh, you know, cool bands or something. So until then, next time, this is Hippie Thrashhead out.